Hello everybody and welcome back. I hope you're having a fantastic day today. In today's video we are going to be continuing our Solaris campaign through the new Machine Age DLC. I'm currently playing as the Asidrix Cyber Ecclesia, which holds one of the origins. I think it's the Cybernetic Creed is the origin. And we've had a decent start so far. Good amount of planets that we have now managed to colonize. We gotta focus on building them up. And a relic world that we can definitely use for some resources of our or some Yeah, definitely use it for mining resource, because that's the thing that we really need the most right now, to be honest. Because we need to be building as much as possible. And we've established some solid borders now. So I'm going to see about establishing something over here real quick. It looks like we ran into another civilization, plantoid civilization. And if we can at least get a base up here or here, then that should set up pretty solid borders for us on our galactic east, on our galactic west. We haven't run into anybody yet, so I'm hoping we can just solid up these borders over here and just expand as much as possible this way into this spiral of the galaxy. So that's my main hope here, and I think what I'm going to do is lower the game volume down just a little bit. As much as I like that music, I feel like it's a bit loud. All right, that should be good. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and advance time and really get into this. My guy's blowing up mining stations. We have, actually, hold on. There's contact, unknown vessels. Um, finish effects. What is this in waiting for? Pops to receive holy implements next month. This stage is active from 900 to 1,000. Okay, I guess we have to wait on this. I don't know why it would be stopped, seven and a creed. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and send this construction ship actually this way. Because once we get that research, that surveyed. I need to build that outpost up ASAP. Uh, man, these, this new Stellaris soundtrack is really a banger. I think we're going to enjoy listening to it. I've been gaming. Right, archaeological site, crash starship. And the log has been found and translated. Person speaking captain has been safely stowed in utility closet C. That bubbling fool is to blame for everything. I am in command now. Chief Engineer Zarbla is Planetary working features on... Planetary features augmented. Oh, hold on. Is Rumzai working on a subspace transmitter? That one I fear will never get rescued and we're too far off the corporate trade routes. Harvix lost another eye. Likely won't last the day. That is concerning. Sounds like a tragic fate that they had. Anyways, where were we at on this generator world? I guess that's the preset it wants to give us on that. It's an aggro world. Another aggro world. This this will be our true aggro. I don't really feel like we should be doing too much else here. Um, features... Alright, cool. This will open the planet up a lot, and then we can just build and build and build. Get our food up to pretty much a non-problem for the whole campaign. I generally find, like, one good planet for food will do most of the work for you. These guys will upgrade our fleets. 
And we'll upgrade that fleet as well. Fusion Augmentation Center. That's right, we need an Augmentation Center. So that's what we have to build. I think we were replacing it. Yeah, we were. We were replacing our... Um, our stronghold with it. That upgrade was well worth the alloys. Well, that upgrade was well worth the alloys. contacts. Mistaken translations. Okay, that's unfortunate. And at minus... We've constructed something game-changing. Alright, the caverniers on screen. That is disturbing. I do not like spiders. Uh, the new mystic order. Basidrix, divine intervention has brought us to your lands carrying many wondrous things. We are the, the mystic order and our deals have been forged by the goddess of fortune herself. Our fleets travel the divine currents of cosmic energy. Wherever the winds of fortune take us, bringing new deals every time we enter your land. Sadly, our ships are beyond the bounds of your realm for the moment. The next time we visit your skies, the wonders of the universe could be yours for a modest donation of credits. Maybe next time. This system's secrets are ours. Probably not next time. To be dead honest. This guy's still surveying. Yeah, he's got a one more planet to go New after that. Research. Strap in. Awesome. Uh, let's get ion thrusters from our ships space. next. We'll upgrade our boys up as well. Got plenty of alloys at the moment. I need more consumer goods. So that is definitely something we need. We've got alien roamers on the grid. Okay. Uh, I think what we'll do, let's check out this relic world. We'll build a research sanctuary of toil. Uh, no. I think we'll build a research lab. And then Let's go ahead and get some holothers going, because I need to... Uh, we'll just bite the bullet and buy some minerals. Uh, do, 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 do. I need three of those districts going. And yeah, we'll put four on, just in case. And these features we can take out once we get the credits as well. What is this? Caravan Sari, Caravan Coalition, Sapiens with psychological profiles particularly vulnerable to addictive activities are advised to stay away from the slots and reliquaries. If they hate fun, that is. Alright. I slot. I'm okay. We'll end that transmission. Basically gambling in the game. That's fine. Turn away the worlds. Alright, whatever. Keep going. Need more minerals to build up. Stuff anyways. We're not really using that many consumer goods at the moment. So I think we'll be fine overall. But, um, I don't know. That upgrade was well worth the alloys. Ooh, uh. Fleet augmented. Nice. The system has been cased. Good. Let's go ahead and build out a star base. Survey that system. Council agenda ready. And survey that system and that system. And then we'll have a better idea what our borders Planetary over here are going to look like. Augmented. Uh, we need a new agenda. Higher purpose, conquer nature, cybernetic advantage. Uh, flesh is weak. Quantum neural links. Uh, we'll expand the council for now. Let's see how that goes. Uh, 
Uh, we could probably go ahead and... More station seven over here as available. well. Hmm. Can't really destroy any of that blockage there. Industrial sector, dense ruins. Okay. More space for a mega block is available. New negative trait intolerance. Okay. Research stations. We've data mined this system dry. Good. And then the crash starship food situation. And the log translated, running out of food, eight are dead five cycles ago, but not enough to last us. We had a vote and decided to eat the captain. Engineers are still working hard on Sipsis transmitter. She assumes, she assures me it is nearly complete. It looks very complex. Parvax's last secondary appendage has shriveled up and turned... Magenta. Alright. Death is near. That's unfortunate More for them. Space for a mega block is Hef Menace. Okay. They're wise to be cautious. But they are hostile, so... Gotta... Be careful yeah, about that. Could be a sweet data package here. Uh, yeah, research that real quick. Build job complete. Oh, did they take the system? They did take the system. Okay. Uh, we need to pull back. Sorry, that system. But here's one of their home worlds. Savannah world. And they have an actual rift there as well. Yeah, we need to build up here. Ancient life pod. An abandoned life pod was detected in close orbit to this system here. Covered in scorch marks presumably from the pod's mothership exploded and preliminary scans suggest it was built more than 5,000 years ago. The crew of our science ship managed to open the pod, revealing the weathered remains of a reptilian alien clad in resplendent in a resplendent uniform. Clutched in one of its claws was a small picture of another individual from the same race, possibly a mate or a revered leader. Interesting. And unfortunate for them. I should have enough minerals now to We've data mined this system dry. Okay. And we're both scanning this at the same time, which means I can send my construction ship over. New augments research. Strap in. Alright, nice. We have inhibitors now. Uh, administrative AI, plasma throwers, uh, plasma throwers. Why not? Implicated in a plot, we have been implicated in a plot against the United Nations. So vague is the allegation that we cannot define the state whether or not they are onto something. Our own spies protest the allegations is baseless, claiming this is likely either a defensive or counter-espionage response from one of our targets, or else a smear campaign being conducted by some third party. Whatever the reason or cause, these aliens have taken offense. Curious. We do share a border with them, so that's probably one of the reasons. We have these guys here, but and we have a world that we could potentially habitate. 
How much? 3,000? How much are our guys? Honestly, if I built up another fleet, then... We can build up a starbase here and build up a third fleet there. That should do it. Oh, uh, they've taken the system. Oh well, that's fine. It's not a big deal, personally. Let's go ahead and claim the territories that are ours. And there's another planet over here. Is it habitable? Yes, it is a desert world, and that works for us. Very nice. Agro world. Go ahead and build that up. Build some more cities. I don't know what to make this world. It's really small. So. The Heath Menace. Our efforts and the signals picked up from the Heath Menace have paid off. They are a Belmacosian consciousness. Hive mind. Okay, disgusting. External uplink established. They're going to hate us, but we'll try to be cordial. Right, we have tradition and metabolic reprocessing, right? Yeah, reprocessing. Situation speed. Nice. All right, we can just send this person out. Honestly. Prime, and then these guys. Alright. This is Relic World coming along. Slowly. Slowly coming along. Alright. Well, if that's time, and keep going. in action. Alright. That's fine. And they close their borders off. No access. We've constructed something game changing. Cool. Go ahead and build that up real quick. It's on there. And then we'll go ahead and send this construction ship over to Zaya. The future of flesh. Event chain cybernetic creed. As we complete the divine journey, our vessels finally achieve the holy fusion of machine and flesh. The one final step for the faithful is the installation of holy augment augments. The commune of toil promises to keep our bowls and warehouses ever full. To align with the fusion of our bodies, our government will now fully embrace cybernetics and undergo a restructuring the tribal of technofence will be created the f fuss is divine the fuse is divine augmentation is worship and of toil will guide our people to a new era faithful will gain the faithful will gain the aspect of the community of toil a unique series of holy and unmodified augmentations marks full effect of tradition cybernetics our authority has changed to cybernetic focus, oligarchic cyber theocracy. Nice. Amongst edicts, the labored masses. And the cybernetic creed event chain. Alright. Let's pause for a second. Let's check out our species. The majority, and here we go, the majority of our species is all cybernetics now. And we have a few that are just kind of out there, I guess. I don't know. So, yeah, we have successfully turned ourselves into cyborgs. Cyborgs. 
Is that the end of the event change? I think so. I think now we just play a normal campaign. We'll find out, though. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Uh, psh, 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 psh. Let's get an energy grid going here, and for this world... Uh, do I have another planet that I can build on? Not particularly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. We shall wait a little bit longer. Is this nearly upgraded? I need another base up here. Okay, we're almost there. Uh, let us get... Build destroyers complete. going. I feel like we destroyers are going to be the most important part. Alright, let's go ahead. Anchorage, Star Yard, Shipyard. Um, we will get Disruptor Fields going on that. And then let's take a look at our fleets here. Home base, Solix Station. Send that up. This guy, carefulness too. Time for some new chrome. These guys over here. Upgrade them. We'll give that these guys the home base well of uh, Sestron Station. That upgrade was well worth the alloys. Good. Uh, let's focus on removing these blocked features here. That would be best, in my opinion. Where are these guys? Why is this guy not going? I'm pretty sure I sent him out on that. Excavator. We'll do that. And he can start looking around for stuff. Uh, we're gonna upgrade our capital as well, so that'll be good. Council agenda available. Yeah. This world's kinda useless. To be honest, we might just make this a research world. I'm not going to lie. This, system's this, no. this we will turn into a definite agro world. Ran out of minerals. Okay, crush shipyard. Another log from first mate. Yathar. Confronted Simon about the subspace transmitter. Turns out she had just... Shoved a bunch of junk and loose cables into an empty fuel canister. She's not even a real engineer. There's now leaking fluids from his mesothrax. We'll surely perish too. We'll surely perish soon. Envious. That is messed up. <laughs> She's not even a real engineer. They were all just waiting to die. That's that's unfortunate. We've constructed something game changing. Yep. Yeah, this will just be a solid research world. I'm I'm not gonna turn this into anything else, honestly. Some more city districts. And once we finally unlock all those guys, we'll be able to do more. Line that out. Do, do, do. Build job complete. Alright, excellent. Let's go ahead and build up a fleet here. Should be 15. Yeah, that's 15. Because that doesn't count as one, that counts as two. So... Excellent. Go ahead and have them build that out. 
And yeah, I think this is a good setup for the rest of the campaign. We have our solid borders now with all these different factions, so we know where we're going to be fighting. Um, I should honestly... I should probably wait to build up another starbase. Build all that out. And then just get... I can buy more minerals, screw it. Um, and we'll just get straight up researchers here. We've constructed Crash something starship. Game fire overnight as the archaeologists slept peacefully. A fire broke out in the camp's provisions module, overcooking the food somewhat. There are no indications as to how the fire started. Luckily, no one was harmed, but archaeologists do not work well on empty stomachs. Send provisions. We have plenty of food. It'll be fine. In this place... Build up another one. Let's advance time. Get this going. And let's get another Admiral here. Uh, who's our youngest? Iron Fist, Cyborg. Uh, uh, this guy I think will be fine. All right, cool. And actually, with all those fleets now, we could potentially come in and take this system. Arctic World. All right. Now what? Ah, here we go. Get this guy. Game changing upgrades in some speeds analysis analysis. Uh, yeah. Game changing upgrades in yeah, analysis. Alright, cool. Ah, Starhold, there we go. That's the technology that we need for sure now. Uh cold fusion reactor. We'll do that. City District. Yeah, we'll upgrade that next. And Home Empire. For some reason, we get another build slot, which is nice. Uh, I think what we're going to do here, though, is... Mineral Purification. I don't know what else to put here for now, but that'll be... That'll be good. That'll be good. Is this guy still surveying, or is he done? Looks like he's done. Alright. And now I can just explore while we focus on building. Crash Starship. This should be the final one in all this. Uh, this, this translated log spear have been recorded by Euxia, the third mate. First mate... Ithar committed suicide by ripping off his own antenna yesterday. Technician, second class. Masiva declared herself empress shortly afterwards, but food riots forced her into exile on the lower decks. Situation very bleak, cannibalism widespread. Pyrvax has turned entirely magenta after his lower abdomen exposed yesterday should be dead but is not now worshipped as a deity by gamma Game shift oh my gosh this is how is this still going 
How is this still going? This sounds like such a tragedy. <laughs> and it just keeps getting worse. It's like I'm watching like some vault tech stuff from Fallout here. Uh, Farm-based subsidies. Yes. Get that going. Alright, city district is good. After that, we can build up another research lab. Faction founded. A new faction has recently been gathering traction in our empire. They call themselves Association of Scientific Scholars. The members have been pushing hard for the advancement of the sciences. That's fine. That it works perfectly well for me. Uh, looks like they want tribute again. We can give them food as tribute. That is our big commodity that we can do for them. Then we don't have to worry about getting raided at the moment. Uh, right. Let's build there. Where's my other construction ship? There we go. Go ahead and build that outpost out. Then go ahead and build that other outpost out. Should be fine. And we should be good. <clears throat> I think. Yeah. Alrighty. Then we have augmented overload. Wind per augmentation center. Nice. Something's out there off grid. Landscape garden. Interesting. So we have another ascension perk that we can pick. Uh landscape garden. Yeah, research that. So let's go ahead and see what that is. So, be, looks like transcendent learning. That might be a thing. Um, mastery over nature, not really. Grasp of the void, starbase capacity plus five. Yeah, that I think that'll be necessary for us here. What are the other ones, real quick? Claim influence. Not. I don't think we really need to worry about claim influence. We don't really have to be like a conquering empire on this campaign. We just have to be strong in research and. Our defenses, I think. So we'll do Grasp of the Void so we can start building far more star bases on all of this. Um, build that up as a star base and then build this up as a star base as well. Because we're about to have a star hold technology which will help us defend ourselves a lot more, a lot better. So that'll be good. I think when we. We'll just keep claiming systems until we run into somebody else over here. And then when we finally have borders, we'll build up more star bases there. Because <clears throat> if they're going to attack us, it's going to be a while before they can get to us. So I'm not overly worried about that, personally. Uh, features. Take out that deep slate as well. And we'll build research lab. And then take out the deep slate. Yeah, just having, like, a solid research world, I think, will be fine. So. Does this guys produce any amenities? Upkeep, yeah. We need a lot more upkeep, honestly. A lot of uh, consumer goods, so hopefully... Interrupted signal. Some form of aesthetic design has been employed over most of the surface landscape of this planet. Oh, hey -o. The scientists suspect that even the remaining untouched areas are merely crafted wilderness. Wildernesses there to serve a wider horticultural goal. Uh, towards the conclusion of our research, we Stumbled across a beacon, the sole example of technology on this world. When activated, it uploaded a catalog of every plant and animal species found on the planet, as well as a reference pointer to nearby relit. What was that word? Relerate? Okay. No clue what. No clue was left with which to identify the planet's designers. Marvelous. Count hostile caretaker division. Lead and woman and is currently attempting to evade them. 
Okay. Someone is trying to establish contact with us. We hear the rush of flowing liquid in the distance and the squawking of a wing flapping of tiny avians taking flight. The transmission seems to be coming from a thriving biome. Hello? There's no response. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, in communications. Anyways, where is... Okay, that's what that ship's doing. Go ahead and send our construction ships to claim those systems, and we should be fine. Uh, it looks like we got to sell up some food. Which is easy credits. Our empire here. And then this aggro world. Someone is attempting to contact us again. We hear the sounds of a biome from earlier. Still nobody is present. Trace the source of the transmission. New job in the situation log. All right, let's pause here. Um, Definitely keep a hold of that. Um, situation log is what? The source available, finish research, 180 days, it's fine. System should be building up. Yeah, it's almost done. Star holds six months. Okay. We're almost there. We'll just finish this up here. Build job complete. Can only support nine districts of this type. Okay. That's cool. Uh, in that case, we can start building out cities here. Huh. Another firewall cracked. All right, cool. Source of the transmission. We were able to locate the source of the mysterious transmission on tracing the signals to multiple points of origin we have ascertained they must be coming from a moving object our leading theory suggests we are we were contacted by a ship which may be used as a nature reserve of sorts i mean yeah that'll definitely make sense with what we're looking at so far but uh not entirely sure what that means for us in the here and now. But anyways, let us continue on. Establish communications. Oh, wait, we can actually. All right. Source of the transmission. We establish communication and are met with the new familiar, the now familiar sound of the biome. However, this time we hear someone speaking. Time Warm greetings. Crow. Oh, jeez, hold on. Warm greetings. I've been expecting you. Pardon the pretense but i had to know how curious you were now let me ask you something how do you value life it depends life comes in many forms uh who are you ah you rather not snip the pleasantries very well allow me to introduce myself a smile spread across the plantoid's face i am azarin but until you answer my question, I will say no more. Now tell me, what do you val what value do you ascertain to life? That depends. We'll use this. That depends. Life comes in many forms. 
sensible answer. Few would hesitate to remove something that would threaten life. Yet it bears remembering that all life holds infinite potential. Now I will shed some light on my reason for contacting you. Go on. I am the former astrobiologist from Azithia, turned scholar of astro creation. I seek the materials needed to create new life. Astro creation requires more energy than I can generate on my own. As we pause before continuing, I assure you this is worthwhile pursuit, but first a challenge. I would like to send you a gift of sorts. See if you are able to neutralize it. What is Azathea? Azathea was my home. It was a Gaia world and the capital of the Ashrafetis Plexus, my people's empire, and home to many different species. Sadly, they are all lost. She gaze, her gaze, bleh, her gaze drifts. At its pinnacle, our world was a wonder to behold, teeming with life and natural beauty. I imagine such biological diversity has scarcely existed since, but it all fell apart. Now treat my gift with care. What is astral creation? An excellent question. Astral creation is an advanced variant of terraformation. It is incredibly powerful by seeding a planet with one of my terraformation nuclei, but on her back, ugh, all right. We will be able to transform almost any planet into a thriving Gaia world. The process requires a great deal of energy, but the results are nothing short of spectacular. Amazing? Yes, the gift I send you is a first step towards that end. Tell us about your ship. Ah yes, this may seem unusual to the uninitiated indeed. This is the interior of my ship. Uh, the Vivarium. It is a dome ship complete with a fully functioning integrated ecosystem. I admit I'm quite proud of it. The gift I have given you was grown here. Until next Good time. In the situation log. Uh, as is gift available, yeah, we'll devote some research time to it. Why not? Uh, we have some star holds things. We got to do afterburners that'll work, and we need uh, deep crust engineering. Get that taken care of. Uh, okay, where are we at? We need to upgrade our star holds, so we'll get on that. Fortunately, we have just enough to upgrade all of them. I should probably get an alloy foundry going on a little frontier world here. City districts. You buy more. So that's three more. So that's five plots there. And we'll let that cook for a bit. I think what we could do is so there's seven more districts. One, two, three, six more. All right. Um. I feel like turning this into a factory world would be a good idea. So we'll build some more city districts overall. Send them back and build up some more mining stations. We've constructed something game changing. Excellent, excellent. Gotta wait for next turn here. We're playing a consumer goods, so we should be fine. And all of that. A little bit more minerals and. Bruh. 
At least all of our initial systems are now occupied. Yo, these guys established an uplink here? Alright. Guess they got that world going. Uh, crash starships. This should be the final chapter in all of this craziness here. Uh, patrol log, Officer Gilgam. We've detected crash. Yeah, pause real quick. Detected crash vessel on 5523X. Move to investigation vessel identified as the Raven. A class P modular freighter. A single survivor in critical condition was recovered from the wreckage. Identity confirmed as Parvax. Oh, cool. He survived. Oh, Parvax boat wins mates. So his mate survived. Remaining crew either perished in crash or turned on each other shortly before our arrival. As per standard protocol, I'm leaving this log here to here and registering the Ravenic as a protected grave site and recording. Curious. All right, that is horrible. They all killed and ate each other. That that is not the kind of mission I was hoping for there. Um, but this guy needs to start getting past this area here. Might want to send our fleet in, actually. Take out any potential threats that our science ship will run into. Uh, generator world. Don't know why specifically the generator world. Um, build up more there. And then get these features wiped out. So we can open the planet up a little bit more. And yeah, we can turn this into a generator world. I don't mind that, really. Okay. Huh. Still upgrading. And then we have our home world. Where was our home world? Oh, there we are. That's upgrading still, too. Alright. It's advanced time, and we should be good. I'm gonna upgrade this guy. And we actually have it built. Trace complete, we got him. Okay. Azarin's bacteria. We have made progress with Azarin's organic gift. The growing potential for interdisciplinary scientific advancement is encouraging. We have collated our findings, having neutralized any potential threat from the microorganism. And we are ready to contact Azarin again. Proceed, open communications. Mm -hmm. Delighted to hear of our breakthrough. Wonderful. I appreciate and applaud your efforts. Now, your empire, I have another Time question. To escape death, would you take the life of another? Yes, we would. Indeed, most would. Uh, survival is the driving force of all living things, after all. Understanding and accepting that fact might save you one day. And your conscience. Before my next query, I have another gift for you. It is a Raphacilla azithia, a type of flower native to my ship. I challenge you to make it bloom. Farewell for now. Alright, we'll wait on that. I kind of want to get our blockers researched before I do anything crazy here. Uh, unlock harvesting moat traps. Okay, moat stabilization. But we can upgrade our ships out now. Awesome. Council agenda ready. And I did research destroyers, so I should probably get those guys going here real soon. Um, we have a agenda to unlock. We can do this guy. Prime speaker, arch priest, 
Yeah, we'll do Archpriest. That makes more sense for what we're up to here. Um, resilience. Yeah, we'll pick this guy. And he can be a governor of a world. Quote, unquote. Uh, we'll have him be the governor of this world here. This needs a governor, since it's a frontier sector. So that'll be good. Build job complete. And I need another one here. Cybernetic advantage. Uh, the flesh is weak quantum neural link. I feel like infinite opportunities we should focus on for now. Boost up our society a little bit. Alright, these guys are unemployed. Awesome. Um, what we'll do is that we'll build up regenerator districts, then we will get rid of these blockers and then build out another city district. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy enough to get another city district going. All right. There we go. And it looks like we have claimed all this territory. Let's go ahead and start building out. How was this not surveyed? Upgrade was well worth the alloys. Oh, we need more allies. I thought it was unsurveyed for a second. Fleet Let's augmented. move this there for now. And yeah. We do have a nice sizable portion of our territory. You know, I'm not I'm not upset with this at all. Game changing upgrades incoming. We got a fix on a point of interest. Okay. Alright, cool. We got that going and then Cast extraction rules, we'll do that. Alrighty. Well, guys, I think we are hitting the end of my time for today's video, so I do appreciate you all stopping in. No, this was kind of a build section, but at least some interesting stuff happened with some archaeological sites in that Paragon plant that we ran into. So, we'll go ahead and call that it for today. Thank you all for dropping by, as always. And until next time, I pray God keeps you all safe and wise during these uncertain times. And until my next part of this campaign comes out, peace.